Payroll tasks make it easy to track all of your payroll processing steps by allowing you to set up recurring and one-off pay run tasks, and these can be applied to the entire pay run or specific employees. From the task management screen, you can also quickly add new tasks as well as review upcoming tasks for a given pay run. To get started, go to the pay runs tab here and click manage tasks, which is to the right of the page. In order to create a new task, click on Create a Task. And from here, you can use all or some of the following options to configure the task. We have the description, which is the description of the task itself. We've got employees. You're able to tick or untick this checkbox, depending on whether or not you want the task to apply to all employees. If you only want it to apply to specific employees, click into this field here and select the employees that you want the pay run task to apply to. Pay schedules. This field will show all of the pay schedules currently within the business. From here, you can select which pay runs you want it to apply to. These two options here will need you to select dates within these date field selectors. You can select whether or not you want the task to be public or private. If you select private, it will only be seen by yourself. Add any notes relevant to the task. When you're adding notes, you can choose whether managers, that is restricted users, are also able to view the note. And you can select any attachments that you need to attach to the pay run task. Once you've filled in those details, you can go ahead and click save. Now I'll go through a few things that you're able to see from this manage tasks page. If you click into a pay run task, such as this one that's already been created, you'll be able to edit the task using those same fields that we've just seen. If the task is not complete yet, you'll be able to see which pay runs it's still showing as incomplete. For any pay runs that it has been completed in, these will also be listed here. Now to the left here, you've got a couple of different sections. Upcoming tasks will show any pay runs that have upcoming tasks. These blue um, numbers here will show that they're incomplete. Is your fortnightly and weekly breakdowns also. If you click into one of these, this is the weekly pay period ending the 17th of April. It will tell us which pay run tasks apply to this pay run. If we click into this one here, again, we'll see the details of the pay run task. If we go into one of these pay schedules that are showing incomplete pay run tasks, we'll also have the option to be able to go to the pay run. That's a handy feature, which means you can quickly go into the pay run and perform any tasks that have been incomplete. If we move on to the pay run now, I'll show you how the tasks look once we're actually in a pay run. So I'll click this button here to go to the pay run in question. Okay. So from here, we can quickly see the tasks button here. This will show us which tasks we need to complete for this pay run. We can view the pay run tasks that still need to be completed. And if we want to minimize this view, just click the arrow button here for it to go. Click this again to expand the view. You can also quickly see which employees have a task assigned as they'll have the tasks indicator next to their name in the pay run, which looks like this. You'll notice that this employee, Brendan, has a green tick next to his name. That means within the pay run itself, I've marked that the task is complete. This action does not follow through to the pay run task itself. But at least in the pay run, it allows me to say that I have completed the task for that employee. 
Once I've completed the tasks within the pay run, I can click on this tab again to bring the pending tasks dialog box up. If I click these checkbox to indicate that I've completed it, you'll notice that this task number here has changed from two to one. Doing this will also remove the incomplete tasks icon from Brody's name. If we untick it again, you'll notice it comes back, tick it, and it goes away. If I manually tick, if I untick here, manually tick this, the task icon will still be there because remember, ticking this is just for my benefit. It doesn't actually flow through to mark the task as complete. Once you have finished your pay run, you can review the tasks that were complete in the pay run audit report. You can get to the audit report by clicking on the reports button here and selecting the audit report. Draft is fine. We'll have a look now. Now for the purposes of this video, I'm going to untick everything except for the pay run tasks. I'll show you the two different views that come up. The report will include both complete and incomplete tasks in order to provide a total view and audit. You're able to filter the report using a few different options. We've got the pay schedule, which will show all pay schedules within the company. We've got specific pay runs that you're able to look at. We're just looking at the pay run that we're all currently in. And as I said, for the purposes of this, I don't want to see any other details except for the pay run tasks. So once we've run the report, we'll be able to see here the pay run tasks that applied to that pay run. It will show us who created it, which employees it applied to. The ones with the strike through indicates that the task has been completed. It will tell us who completed them and what dates they were completed. Now, because we've also asked here for pay run tasks to be um, detailed under the employee details, you'll notice that it's also giving us a result for each employee individually. What pay run tasks applied to them, who created them, completed, and what dates they were completed. The last thing I'll show you in this video is the pay run tasks report. To get into the pay run task report, we just need to click into the reports tab. There's a few different ways you can get into the reports page, um, but that's probably the easiest. Down here, under the payroll section, click on the tasks report. Now the task report, you're able to filter using a few different options. We have the date range here. If you would prefer, to use a pay run, you can select um, the pay run option instead. Pay schedule, which will show all pay schedules in the business. If you would like a specific employee as opposed to all, you just need to enter at least three characters. Um, what status, all completed or not completed of the task, and whether or not you want to group the tasks or employees. I'm just going to run the report as is. Now the results will include a few different details. We've got the employee name, the employee ID, the external ID, if there has been one added. This is uh, added on the employee file details page. This will have the task description. Again, who created it, what date it was created, when it was due, to be completed, whether or not it was actually completed, any notes, remembering you have the option to um, show notes to restricted users or not, who completed it and what the completed date was. So you can see from this report of these pay run tasks, there is only um, one task within this time frame here uh, and that was completed. 
all the other tasks within that time frame are showing as not completed. Once you have the data that you need within the report, you are able to export the report either by Excel, CSV or PDF. That's all for the pay run tasks. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you.